everyone, this is Heather Mahalik with another Tip Tuesday. This week I want to answer a question that came up during Ask the Expert Live that Jared Barnhart and I have done at the beginning of May. The question was, if a new version of UFED comes out, do you have to reacquire the device to make sure you're getting all of the information? And this is where it really depends on the device you're extracting. So I'm going to go into search devices and recently used, and I'm going to choose one of the devices that I previously acquired. Now what I would really alert you to is if you ever see physical, and if you know you have a rooted device, great. Chances of that happening are pretty slim to none. If you see file system, you actually want to go in and see if you can get a full file system extraction using one of our live methods. Also, if you haven't acquired the device in a while, you may want to go back and see if SmartFlow will assist you. However, if you log in and you simply see that it's just Android Backup, Android Backup APK Downgrade, or Advanced Logical, chances are good that the extraction level of access has not improved. And again, if you go back and you're unsure if it's improved, if you go into SmartFlow, we will walk you through the best level of access to try to get you a full file system acquisition. Now I wanna mention, let's say nothing changed in UFED with the update for the device of interest. What can impact you is physical analyzer. If you're using PA7 or PA Ultra and advanced techniques are built in or additional parsers to parse additional artifacts, then you may get more information. So again, it really depends on your device and what is being supported. If you log into your community portal, you can always access the list of supported devices and that will give you the information you need. Thank <laughs> you.